Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to my channel. This is Perry Trade. If you're new here, we've been working on this automated trading strategy using the Bollinger Band and the Keltner channel. If this is your first time watching, please stop here and watch parts one, two, three, and four to understand the progression of the strategy. Uh, just to recap, in part one, we introduced the Bollinger Band and the Keltner channel automated strategy and added the TSI indicator for trend direction. We tested only the long trades on June 24th market replay, which profited 1,230. In part two video, we implemented the uh, candle break confirmation, meaning the next candle, once you get the signal candle, the next candle must close higher than the signal candle for long trade and then lower for short trade. We also added a reversal break limit uh, to close a trade and enter in the opposite direction if necessary. Uh, this adjustment um, resulted in a profit of 1,350. Uh, we're still just doing long trades only just to test it out. And in part three video, we tweaked the reversal break limit and that also, well, that resulted in loss of $265. So whatever I did, didn't work and then um, I had a loss of $265 while still testing long trades only. Now in part four video, the condition for both and long trades were added and the TSI indicator was replaced with the exponential moving average, the EMA, to determine the direction uh, of the uh, trend. Uh, this um, netted a profit of $5,135 from June 24th and June 25th market replay. So this is for two days. The Bollinger Band and Keltner channel uh, does help avoid uh, ranging markets, you know, choppy markets, uh, but the signals sometimes occur at the end of the trend, uh, causing the trade to go in the opposite direction than what you intended to go to. So. Um, that happens because you don't really know what um, if you're you know once you get a signal you don't know if that trend is going to continue or if if you know if it's going to reverse so that's the biggest challenge now in today's video the uh, part five um, part five in the final video of this series I made further modification using the data from June 24th June, through June 28th so I'm testing um, uh, four days um, so uh, and I'll in and, and June 25th and June 26th were particularly challenging due to the market choppiness and that those two days I had losses on mm -hmm. June 24th I had a profit and in June 28th I had a profit so to address those issues like if I go into the trade uh, you can see here um, I profited 2340 here and um, let me just go into the trade. So these are the trades here, right? Let me just show you the summary, right? Uh, 2,340 gross profit, 4,000 gross loss, uh, 1,750. And I'll show you those losses. And you can see profit factor 2.34. Max drawdown 1,310. Yeah, that's a huge drawdown right here. Don't like this right here. Um, if I go here, percentage profitable, uh, 70%, 12 winning trade, five losing trades in those days, in those specific days. And here, uh, you have five, uh, hold on, let me show you here. The average winning trade is 340 and average losing trade is 350 right here. Max consecutive winners were four trades. Max consecutive losers is three. And then largest winning trade is 2072. And I think that was the very last trade. Uh, well, the last day of the trade. And then largest losing trade is 455. So I'll show you those as well. So um, looks like profit per month is 14,000 here. So if I go to the uh, trade analysis here, let me maximize, let me minimize this. Here you can see 9 a.m. So this is our. So these are the trades per hour. So it looks like at 9 a.m. Uh, net 
negative 20 and then 10 a.m. 2306 I'm not sure why it's not showing all the other trades maybe these were the only trades that were taken in these hours so let me go to days of the week so here you can see Monday had a profit Tuesday so on Tuesdays and Wednesdays I have losses and then Thursday Friday I have profits Okay, so this is the day. Friday was a very trending day, I guess, because I profited. This is where I profited the most. And Thursday, I only profited 50. And then Monday, only two trades um, for 205, four trades for 50, and then four trades for 27. So only three trades lost here, and then uh, four trades lost here. So here so what i do i'll look at um i'll kind of like focus on these losses and where i can avoid these losses so what i'll do is i'll go to the trades right here and i look at the trades you can see here so here's my losses so here's the biggest losses here right so i'm looking at june 26 at 959 so i have two losses here for the same amount right and then the next day, 9.54, around the same time, another loss right here. So these are small losses here. But here I need to focus on why this happened right here. So I'm gonna minimize this, right? Uh, let me open the chart here. So 9.54, so I go here, 9.54. This is June 26, right? Let me make sure, let me go back. Uh, June 26, yep, right? here June 26 right and we're gonna scroll across to 9 9 o'clock right here so see was it here Hold on, let me make sure double check so entry is 959 right and then 959 yeah So 9.59, so right about here, I entered a trade. So it looks like I came in here. So the entry, 9.59, 9.59. So 9.59 started here, right? And I entered the trade, looked like I entered the trade here, my entry short, right? Let me zoom in so you can see better. 959 right here so so here's what happened so I have an entry here short you see where I come in at the end the very last candle right this is a short but I go into the next candle but it's a green candle so really then it stopped me out right here so I have a loss right here so I think this is two contracts right here so that's why I lost um, I have this two big losses of $455, right? That's crazy. And so I have to avoid this. So in my strategy, remember, I have signals that are created on my charts, right? I have two types of signals. I have an entry signal and an exit, uh, I'm sorry, an entry signal. These are entry signals, the small candles. So you see, the uh, hot pink candle, that's the entry short. And then this uh, lime green, this is the entry for long. And then also too, I have an exit signal also too. So when I enter into an open position, uh, these candles here, uh, once they appear, then they will exit me out. So instead of having a trail stop, I have these exit um, signals here. So I do have a 20, the first contract is 20, 20, uh, 20 take, take profit. And um, the second contract is the, the runner. So the runner will continue going in either direction until I get these signals to exit me out. So uh, this is what I have to avoid here. So you can have as many profits you want, but the small uh, stop losses will eat up uh, my profits here. So right here, uh, I have these signals uh, printed on the chart, and what I do, I use the um, the the um, uh, 
I forgot what it's called. <laughs> um, my ATM strategy, which is the Predator. Okay, um, I use these. I program these so the Predator takes the signal, and then I have uh, different uh, strategies where they're going to trade. Uh, let me show you uh, strategy here and Predator. So the strategy takes a signal. And I don't want to disable the signal because then everything would be off the charts. And so I can uh, set my stop loss, set my profit target. I can have indicators. In this case, I have the um, the exponential moving average as a uh, an indicator there. So uh, it's 200 uh, EMA. So when the price is above the 200 EMA, it only goes long and then the opposite for short. And also I can set time limits here. So uh, for this strategy, it's 9.30 to 11 and then it starts back up again at 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And also you can see here, I have the super trend as a stop loss for my first contract market order, uh, 20 tick take profit. Uh, let's see what else uh, I have on the second contract. I have a reversal break limit. So again, I have to tweak these uh, settings here so that I can see if I can make more profit here. Let's see what else. Um, that's uh, yeah. And then I have a trail stop, a super trend. See so break even trail stop. A trail stop auto trigger here, right? see what else uh, super trend uses the ATR and then 2.6 multiply here using the HMA moving average type uh, I can also use some of the isolators here to further filter uh, my strategy the RSI the stochastic ADX uh, those are off for now uh, and also to I which my strategy is built off these uh, Keltner channels so because my strategy is built off this Kettler channel, I really don't have to use these uh, uh, indicators here because I already have them built into the strategy. Uh, what else? Uh, here, remember, I enabled the um, the moving average. This is the 200 moving average right here. Uh, what else? Uh, these are the uh, signals that I have here. So, of course, I you know like I sh uh, explained earlier in my other videos, the strategy is named after my wife because she is practicing. Uh, this strategy and other strategies that I have um, here. Uh, so whenever um, these signals appear, it would uh, go long and short and also exit signals here. Uh, the exit signals are here. Uh, printed is red when there's a check mark. That means the uh, ATM does um, can read the signals and you're good to go. Uh, what else? Um, Uh, let's see what else so what I'm going to do here I don't want to take too much of your time let me click OK so what I'm gonna do here you see where it exit here so these are my losses here so this is what I'm trying to avoid if, if I can avoid this then I'm good to go and let me show you the other loss let me go across to June 27th around 954 I believe right 954 54 June 20 so yeah June 27th 954 right here right. so right here you see I go long right here let me extend it so I go long so here's my signal candle. I go long. As soon as I go long, I get a short candle right here. So this is a this is a stop. So I I've lost right here because I'm at the end of the trend. So I don't want the signal. I you know it's hard to kind of determine whether you're at the end of a trend. So you do get the signal, and your automated strategy takes a trade. But unfortunately, you get a a red candle which then stops you out and then you have a huge loss right here so I you know the the strategy is built off is, is based on the bar close maybe if I change it to maybe um, 
uh, by tick maybe that will change um, so what I'm gonna do here you see on the right side so I have re reversal exit so that means if it detects so right here it's going to once it once it detects a reversal candle then what it's going to do is going to exit the trade this right here um, I believe that it will reverse in the opposite direction if the condition is true so if the condition is true going the opposite direction then it would take another trade so in this case um, the opposite trade the condition is not met so it would just exit the trade so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this option here right to reverse reverse so once it once once I get into a long trade and then it, it then um, detects a um, a different a different color candle then it will close that trade long trade and then enter into a short trade here and hopefully I can make 20 tick but in this case I don't think I'm gonna make 20 ticks so I'll probably get stopped out here maybe in the other one uh, because I had more um, it was going uh, further down so uh, that probably would uh, eliminate these big losses but overall um, the profit was 2300 while this may seem not much considering the market choppiness the strategy did withstand um, this strategy does withstand volatility well um, like I said before it lost $75 on June 26th and 590 on uh, June 27th the daily limit I can restrict the trading losses by setting a daily stop loss. Um, this strategy is conservative, uh, has very strict rules. Uh, it does limit big losses and ensure consistent profit. So um, again, I, I just want to thank you for watching all of my um, all of the uh, parts of the video uh, on this Bollinger Band Kettler channel. And I, again, I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye.